Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another local SEO video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a massive amount of traffic to your website in under 30 days. I'm going to show you how to do it, show you how to do it yourself. Watch this. Okay, guys, so I was nice enough to have a, a, a viewer, one of my viewers, say, hey, can you check out my website? And I was like, yeah, I'll check it out. And I checked it out, and I said, I see a lot of ways that you could uh, improve. He goes, oh, can you tell me? I said, certainly. I said, can I make a video on your, about your site? And he said, certainly. So we are going to use WeWash24 as an example. Now... In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a massive amount of traffic. And the things about my video is what I usually say is, and for free. Unfortunately, this time it's not for free. You don't have to pay me. You're going to need to pay other services. So the first thing that you're going to need is a program called SpyFu. And here it is. It's SpyFu.com. I'll put the description in the link below. It's a brand new tool that I started using at least, but it is fabulous for, um, for, for finding new content. Now, you may be able to do it with SEMrush or Ahrefs or Majestic. I just like to use SpyFu for this process because they just make it super easy, okay? So step one, know your domain name, know your website name, right? That's step one. In this case, it's WeWash24. For you, it may be ABC Plumbing or ABC Lawyers. Okay? Now, once you're logged into SpyFo, I believe they have a free trial, and you may only need the free trial for just a couple of days. Okay? You want to see what your top pages are. You want to see what your top ranking pages are. So all you do is you click Top Pages, turns to a beautiful shade of green. See that? Okay, now here's where the magic happens. So you'll notice that on his website, these are his estimated SEO clicks per month, right? That's pretty self-explanatory. He has about five or seven pages, he has seven pages and he gets 25 clicks for 26 various keywords on this page, We Wash 24, Wash and Fold, Laundry Service, uh, Seattle, Washington. He gets about 25 clicks a month coming from 26 keywords, and so on and so forth. Now, you're going to notice that some pages don't have any traffic. So, we want to get more traffic on this page because we currently we don't have any notice this on the wash and fold service in Oakland California right so we want to get more we want to get more traffic and I'm going to show you how all right guys so the first part was super easy right you got your domain name whatever your domain name is and you ordered uh, SpyFu, I think it's $38 a month. I think there's a free version also where you don't get all the information, but it may be just enough. Okay, so we got that part. That's super, that's super easy, right? Now, we found out on WeWash that Wash and Fold Service in Oakland, California was a keyword, was it was a phrase that we weren't getting any action to. Nobody was coming to that page. So I want to find out, I want to find out who is getting the action, who has, who has such a great page on, fan, on, on uh, wash and dry, wash and fold service in Oakland, California. And it looks like it is family laundry, family laundry, right? So what I'm going to do is go back to SpyFu. Watch this. You're not going to believe this. I mean, this is this is some crazy stuff. Family, L A U N D R Y, right? Family laundry. Come on. Okay. Now we'll notice that 
Family Laundry gets 91 clicks. Now look, we're not breaking the internet with this example. Remember something, it's wash and, and fold laundry, right? In your industry, like DUI or, or, or uh, plumbing, you may, you may have, you know, I did, I did a lawyer for this one last week. We were going from zero clicks to 12,000 clicks, right? But I just want to make the example super easy for you to understand. So let's take a look at family laundry. Remember something. We Wash is getting zero clicks a month and family laundry is getting 91. Let's take a look at this page. Okay. All right. Seems like they have a lot of content on this page. Now, they got a little video here too. Now. My question is, can I make a better page than this with better content? Well, let's see how I would do that. All right, guys, so we have a page that we were getting zero visitors to. We found a competitor that was getting 91 clicks a month, and we want to be in the position that our competitor's in. Now, in this case, we're using family laundry, but it's just as easy to write for a DUI lawyer or, or any other industry. OK, so OK. So now the next step is we're going to open up a website called phrase.io. And what phrase does is it prepares a document for you to give to your writer. Right, because. Here's what happens. Here's what we do a lot of times. We say, uh, oh, I need a writer. Uh, have them write on this subject. And we give them just the, you know, the small snippet, you know, a wash and fold service in Oakland, California. Uh, give me 500 words. Give me 1,000 words. First of all, you don't know how many words you need. That's the first thing. You don't know what keywords you need. And... You really don't even know what content you need. And, and most of the time, if you send it over to a writer, neither, did they, neither do they. They're just going to write something that makes sense. So what I like to do is I like to send over a template. Look, here are the questions you need to answer on this service. So what this um, website, uh, uh, phrase.io does is it prepares the document to give to the writer. It shows them all the websites to go to, to research, to get content, and all the questions to answer. So in the next slide, I'm going to show you the, the document that it prepares. I'm going to press Create Document. It's going to take about 40 seconds, and in the next slide, I'll show you what it prepared. So once it finishes crawling the web for the best content, it spits out the word count for how many words I need. So, for example, the average word count for this phrase is 597 words. So I'll tell my writer I need about 750 to 1,000 words article. I'll, you know what? Most of the time I'll say 1,000 words. Give me a 1,000 word article. Okay? So what it does is I just add the document and these are all the... This is everything that the writer needs. This is fabulous. You know, this is, this is fabulous. It lets you know what the H1 tag should be, the H2 tags, the H3 tags, right? Add document, add document. Okay, so you get the idea. So, wash and dry fold service in Oakland, CA. Right. So right away, it's saying that I should I should have the 10 best. Naturally, I would put mine right there. Right. With a link going back to my home page. But I would add the rest. Why not? Why not? Right. You take out Yelp. If it says Yelp here, I don't remember what it said. Yeah, it's coming from Yelp. Right. But this this whole thing needs to be rewritten. Right. OK. Family laundry. Right. So. Uh, we process all your laundry facilities in Oakland, California, right? Health and safety, how much it costs. Is it like like this rewritten? Look at the look at this page. Right? 
rinse and dry cleaning laundry, right? Free laundry mount service, right? That that's from Bolt Laundry, right? But look at all these great, look at all this great content. And this is just for laundry. How should I be doing my laundry, right? How high is the risk of getting infected from other clothing? Like these, these, you should have an FAQ. Here are all your questions for your FAQ. Right here. Right? Some of this stuff isn't relevant because this one says San Francisco. We're just trying, but that could be changed to LA. But at least you have an outline now. So you create the document. You create the document. Wait, let's just, just take a look at this content, right? All the questions that we're answering, right? So remember something. The basis of Google is to give its user the best answer to their question. They're trying to find the best uh, a wash and fold service in Oakland, California. They need to give the best available answer. Right now, it's this. Right now, it's this. Isn't this better? Isn't that better? Just like this, it's better. But it's copied content. And, you know, some people say that you could use copied content. I still haven't. Uh, I still don't. I don't know. That's, that's something else. I, I wouldn't copy the content. I would write fresh content. All right. So once you create this, there's a way right here where you could export it right in a PDF. You go to this website called Composely. I'll put it in the link in the description below. And the pricing, it's not bad. I think for 500 words, all right, what do we need? A thousand? What do we need? All right, $149. $149, but you're gonna get a fantastic, you give them this, you give them this document and you send it over for $149. I'm gonna guarantee you, you're gonna get more than zero clicks a month for that keyword. And not only that phrase, I'm sorry, there's a bunch of keywords inside that, inside, inside the article, right? So you're gonna rank for you know, laundry service, fold and dry service, you're gonna rank for you know, you know, 25 or 50 keywords, 50 different keywords you're gonna rank for, it's just that one article. Now that's your blog article. That's how you create blog articles. And remember something, I'm showing you a way to just increase 91. That's just, that was just something I did off the top of my head because it, it's wash and, and, and dry, uh, uh, wash and fold service, laundry service. It's not really huge demand the way there are for some other services, maybe for your service, maybe for SEO, you know, if you're an agency. So that's exactly what you do. You go over to SpyFu, you put your website in, you see all the pages on your website that aren't performing. You, find, you take that phrase, you put it inside Google, you see who is ranking for that. Then you put it back into SpyFu, right? And then you take the phrase, and then you take that website, and then you, and then you put it into phrase. Right, uh, uh, that you, you take that keyword, that key phrase, and put it into phrase. Right, put it into phrase. It generates an article for you, a layout for an article, and then you take that article and you hire somebody at Composely. Now, look, if you can't afford one hundred and forty-nine dollars, I understand. You could go over to Fiverr and you could find somebody to probably do it for a hundred, for uh, twenty-five or forty dollars, something like that. Right, so try to get somebody with five stars. I don't know if it's going to be as good as uh, Composely. I know some people who have used them and uh, they're, they're really good. However, if you need to go over to Fiverr, go to Fiverr, or there's another one, as you know, called iWriter. But don't just think that you're going to, don't just think that you're going to tell somebody, uh, wash and dry, Wash and fold service in Oakland. Here, write a 500 word article about it. First of all, you don't know how many words they need to write. You don't know what keywords need to go inside there, all right? So that's, that's it, that's it. So if you do this just a couple of times a month, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you're going to have a thousand percent more traffic. Thousand, you're gonna go from your pages that have zero to actually getting some real good traffic, 
right? So I hope this lesson helped you. If you have any questions, put it in the comment box below. Like I say in every video, please take care of your family. That's the most important thing you could do. Kiss your wife, tell her that you're grateful and you're thankful for her. Tell her that you appreciate her. Tell her that you appreciate her. I can't tell you how important that is. Tell her that I say, I appreciate you. Take out the garbage on the way out. Don't be asked to do it, right? Make the bed, throw the laundry in the, in the laundry, uh, laundry machine, right? And uh, always try to do 51% of the work around the house. Always try to do 51% of the work, right? That's, that's real important. Okay, guys, listen, I hope this lesson helped you. I think this was one of my one of my best lessons, definitely my best lesson in 2021. I rocked it. I rocked it, yo. All right, guys, have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.